Hey guys, it's me Van Slam. So I went out for a little ride and two minutes into the ride, I was like, hmm, did I close my front door? Not that I live in a bad neighborhood, but I always forget. So, you know, I'm riding by my home and making sure my front door is closed and we can continue on. <laughs> but anyway, once again, I was talking about boots, right? Yeah. So boots, you know, I wear um, my construction boots, Timberlands, or these happen to be Darren's or, Darren's or something like that. Anyway, anyway, I always wear steel-toed boots with my with my bike uh, because a steel shank because it feels you know safe, whatever the case may be. What do you guys wear? Do you guys go in for those other boots that them specifically motorcycle boots? I mean, the prices have are continue to go up. I guess people are really buying them, and I, I guess they make sense, you know, if you don't have any other boots. Um, but I'm wondering what people are buying now. I think they go the least expensive ones I've seen are about eighty bucks, and they go from eighty bucks to hundreds of dollars. I totally understand the reason for it, but um, you know, for me, as long as my okay, as long as my ankle is covered and my toes, you know, covered. Um, and I have leather and I take the laces, I put them inside my boots. Um, I'm pretty secure in riding with uh, my construction boots. They're pretty strong. Um, now I do have a pair of Alpine Star racing boots. Um, XS5, whatever, I use them for racing when I would go, when I would go to the track. Those track days are over. <laughs> And, um, but I still have the boots. Uh, they're a little bit scratched up and everything, you know, from walking around in them. Um, and they were several hundred bucks. But, um, I don't wear them in the street that much or at all because they're uncomfortable to walk in. So, does that, does, do you guys uh, wear any boots? What kind of boots do you wear? Do you feel like it's needed? I don't know. I don't think it's needed. Um,. I don't think it's needed on the racetrack. No, I'm just joking. But I, I don't think it's needed uh, when you're riding in the street. And plus comfort, you know, how do you walk around with those boots? So that's why I use my Timberlands or my whatever construction boots I've got on at the time. Um, and I've been doing that for decades. Uh, yep. And they're warm. They're waterproof. I make sure all my boots are waterproof and, and insulated. So they work. Uh, yeah, just wondering what you guys wear for boots. Yeah, while we're riding... Oh, also, uh, since we're on boots, I've got another question. Jackets. And just riding clothes in general. Helmets and stuff like that. I mean, I ride helm I ride with a helmet one because it's required by law in my state. And, um... So I know there, I mean, if you live in Pennsylvania, I live in New Jersey, so you have to wear a helmet. Um, I know some people who live in Pennsylvania who ride without a helmet, and you know, it's, it's your right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a problem with that. I ride with a helmet one because, like I said before, it's required by the state. But I also ride because I've been in a couple of accidents with helmets on, and um, to me, they serve a purpose. I understand the purpose that they serve. Um, yep. So that's why another reason why I wear helmets. And I don't wear open face helmets. I wear either a full face helmet or the modular helmets. I think the open face helmets, I've, I do have a couple. And I've worn them maybe five times, ten times in total. Um, I just don't feel comfortable with them now that I've had the full face. And, uh, or the modulars, um, which I've always had. And then I, and even in the summertime, it doesn't bother me because of the bugs. You know. It, you get hit in the face with a bug, oh man, that hurts. Oof. Well, we got some pretty big bugs out here. They had nuclear powered bugs. Um, yeah, so that's why I wear my helmets. Jackets, once again, same thing. Um, I got into an accident without a jacket on. Oh, I ruined the day. Uh, all that, the road rash, man, oh, that hurt. So, um, yep, I have jackets. Even on hot days, I have a mesh jacket that I wear that it's cooler it takes your it takes your um sweat on your shirt and it directs the air over the sweater shirt so it's actually like air conditioning kind of so i wear that and i wear i have this one here this olympia jacket and i've got another olympia longer winter jacket <clears throat> for um that i wear gloves yep i have uh gloves to keep my hands warm mostly 
these are my warm weather um, heated grips clubs and these are Alpine Star um, I have a pair of uh, Olympia intermediate which are just insulated for winter for winter riding for cold riding and then I have a pair of electric grips uh, gloves rather from Gerbing I use those for um, when it's a really cold day um, I'll plug it up to my vest I have an electric vest which you know is another thing I plug up to my electric vest and plug that into the bike and ride with uh, that and that keeps me relatively warm I mean I've been out in below 20 degree weather riding my bike with my Gerbing equipment and it keeps me more than warm I, I like it a lot uh, but that's with electric gear and then pants okay pants what do you guys wear on pants now this I think there's a lot of what people wear um, I know I wear jeans I've worn dress slacks I've worn um, electric uh, pants because you know it was warm out chaps when I was riding my Harley I had le full leather chaps and I put them on normally when it's really cold when it's 40 degrees or lower I'll put my chaps on um, and uh, and ride with my chaps they do keep you warm they just in fact keeps you warm breaks the wind um, does and let's see chaps yeah so and then of course there's the the, the fabric pants that you can wear that protects you right so I'll tell you one time I was wearing dress slacks and I was at work I was going to see a friend who was in the hospital on my motorcycle a long time ago and I was going through a toll booth hit oil went down and slid right through the toll booth and of course the went through right through my pants right to my butt <laughs> and road rash yeah that wasn't fun either I remember just laying down and uh so yeah so that was a pain so that's why you know I wear jeans now and jeans I've gone down in jeans they're a little bit better than dress pants not much <laughs> okay don't go down in jeans either um, they just you know you're talking about uh, asphalt talking about your body on asphalt and yeah this is like uh, a little bit better than polyester not more the Dacron fabrics the fabrics that they have are stronger um, but I, I don't wear them I still wear my jeans so what do you guys wear? what do you guys think I don't know <laughs> maybe I'm just dense and I don't get it but I just I like wearing my jeans um, and so these jeans here the jeans I'm wearing now have um, I want to say if they're flannel lined so they're just not regular jeans they're flannel lined jeans so they keep my legs warm on cold days um, anything colder than say like 35 degrees I may put on the electric pants um, and like I said the gerbing the electric pants the vest and the gloves it's really um, ger all gerbing equipment and uh, I plug it up to the bike um, pulls a couple of amps but uh, it's, it's good and um, I won't wear the pants and I rarely I rarely wear the pants actually I've worn the pants, pants maybe twice the gloves I wear sparingly because um, if I'm riding by myself I'll put the gloves and the vest on if it's a cold day if I'm riding with my girlfriend I won't put them on because she likes to have her vest and her gloves on with my vest I don't want to overload the system so yeah sometimes I have to be a little bit cold out there.